We're leaving for New York City tomorrow for the first time in over 15 years. So in today's video, I thought I'd show you exactly how I pack light in a carry-on. We're only going for four days, but whether we're gone for a short time or a long one, I pack the exact same way every time. Carry on only, baby. To make it easier for you so you're never stuck without a toothbrush or a change of undies in your travels, I made a free downloadable packing checklist for you in the description below. And I want to thank Monos for sponsoring today's video. I'll be testing out their Carry On Pro Plus luggage for my trip, and I'll show you some of their other super minimal but functional bags as well. Plus, they're from Canada, so gotta love it. Hey, bud. It's a Texas size 10 4. Over and out. We aren't going to be away for very long, so honestly I could really get away with just a duffel bag or a backpack, but I'm planning on doing a little bit of thrifting while we're there, so I wanted to have a touch of extra room to bring those goodies home. So carry on it is. It'll mean less money spent checking luggage, less time wasted waiting around hoping your bag comes through the conveyor belt, and less lugging extra shit around that you probably didn't need, so your lower back will love you for it. Traveling can be stressful enough, so by going carry on you can get on and off easily. <gasps> That's what she said? The next thing I always do before traveling is check the weather so I can be better prepared for A, what I need to bring, and B, for what we plan on actually doing. We'll be in New York for four days in December, so it's gonna be a little bit chilly, but I still want to be comfortable and look cute. It is New York after all, and I definitely have some Carrie Bradshaw fantasies to live out here. I like to lay out everything I need to bring with me and plan my outfits ahead of time so I know exactly what I want to wear and when. You can definitely go to Pinterest and create a mood board for some inspo, but I usually try not to dress too far out of my comfort zone when I travel. That way you can focus on your trip and all the new experiences you're about to take in and not waste too much time fussing over your outfit. So I have about three different outfit scenarios that I know I need to pack for. So that's what I'm gonna create my mini travel capsule wardrobe around. I wanna focus on pieces that I know look good, feel good, but that are more importantly really versatile so I can sort of mix and match them and take them from day to night really easily. This for me is really the key to packing light. So you have a bunch of different options to choose from, but you can still feel like yourself and also really chic. And maybe you can get away with even looking like you're a local. If someone mistakes me for a New Yorker, I'll be really proud of myself. So the three different outfit scenarios that I need to focus on are my daytime outfits. So I know we're gonna be doing a lot of walking around. I want to go thrifting, do a little bit of shopping maybe. So the focus here is really comfort and walkability, but I still wanna feel warm and chic because we're gonna be outside in New York in December. The second are date nights and evenings. So we will be planning on going to a few like speakeasies and restaurants. And we're also gonna be going to a couple of nights at the Comedy Cellar. This I want to again be comfortable, but chic and more date night, nighttime appropriate. And the third scenario I think is just gonna be sort of lounging and downtime. This I'm thinking more like lounge wear or athletic wear. And again, I want it to be comfortable, easy and versatile so I can take it from the hotel room or even the hotel gym to the streets if we need to. So with all that said, let's get packing. So keeping the outfit scenarios in mind, the next thing I like to do is refer to my packing list and start laying out everything I need. I'll be packing the Carry On Pro Plus bag from Monos. It's a super sleek, super minimal carry-on bag with a ton of really intuitive and functional features. It's a hard shell suitcase made of aerospace grade polycarbonate, so it's basically unbreakable. So what you're saying is, I am indestructible. Oh no, no, and in, in fact, even a slight breeze could- Indestructible. It's super lightweight coming in at just over eight pounds and feels really ergonomic with its 360 degree wheels and adjustable telescopic pull handle. I love this extra front compartment that'll fit a 15 inch laptop and it'll easily fit in the overhead bin for major US airlines. But just know that it may need to be checked on smaller planes. I'll leave the specs for you in the description. Monos also sent me their Metro duffel bag and this super minimal backpack. Mine's made out of nylon, but they have a ton of options made of vegan leather if you want a more like fashion forward look. I'm not gonna lie, I've been really impressed with the quality, the attention to detail, and above all, the usefulness of these bags. There's so many handy compartments and pockets and everything's really easy to use and just even easier to access, which is really great when you're panicking to get all your stuff in the bin at airport security. Plus they're from Vancouver and they actually give a shit about the quality of their product, not to mention the planet. So if you're interested in checking out Monos, they gave me a discount code and I'll leave everything in the description below. Thanks Monos. One of my favorite packing hacks that I started using recently is packing cubes. They keep everything really organized and easy to access. 
And I feel like if something accidentally spills in your carry-on, it's not gonna get all over everything as much. These packing cubes feel really nice and heavy weight and you can fit a lot more in there than you might think. And I know there's a lot of controversy when it comes to packing. Some people say to roll your stuff, use those like vacuum space savers. For me, I just like to do a classic KonMari fold and I think it is just like the easiest way to see everything and save the most space. And when I'm packing, I kind of like to do it in the order in which I would get dressed. So let's start with socks and undies. It's my rule of thumb to pack one pair of socks and underwear for every day you're away, plus one extra. So we're gonna be gone for four days. I'm gonna pack five pairs of socks and undies because you just never know. One nude bralette for daytime and one sports bra for if I decide to be healthy and work out. And I'm also gonna pack these nippies because I have one sort of hot scandalous outfit that I wanna wear. Ooh. I'm gonna pack four shirts since we're gonna be gone for four days. It'll be one plain white tee, one plain black, and two long sleeve tops. And I'm also gonna pack one pair of workout leggings. I can use this for layering under my jeans if it's really cold, or just to laze around or even work out in. So these are really handy and versatile. In terms of bottoms, a lot of the outfits that I have planned and ones that are on my inspo board are all basically jeans. So I'm gonna pack one pair of blue jeans from more casual outfits and one pair of dark black jeans that I can easily take from day to night. I have one sort of standout fancy blazer that I bought recently from And Other Stories that I really want to wear to a couple of the date nights. It's super hot fire, I cannot wait to wear it. And then I'm kind of undecided on this one. I love a good moto jacket and it'll layer so easily under a wool coat. So I'm thinking either the moto jacket or another blazer that's like actually whole so there's no cutouts in it. A little bit more functional maybe. I'm gonna think back to that, that'll be a game time decision. And I'm also gonna bring a sweater for layering. I can layer this over my shoulders or I can just wear it on its own so it's a really good versatile thing to bring. Because it's December in New York and we plan on pretty much walking everywhere we go, I'm also gonna pack my Uniqlo down vest. This thing is so easy to pack with. You can just smush it down and it basically packs up like a sleeping bag, but I'll basically be putting it on top of my outfit, but underneath my wool overcoat that I plan on wearing. And this way I can stay super warm, but it's not really bulky and it still looks pretty chic in my opinion. And then we get into shoes. So it's a rule of thumb to wear your bulkiest outfit on the plane. So I'm gonna be wearing these Chelsea boots that I recently got from Ghani. They're really cool, but also functional, which I love. And I think I wanna bring these Kate Dallas boots for date nights. They'll go really well with the jeans that I chose and I think they'll just be really cool. Plus they're really comfortable. I wouldn't walk around all day in them, but going to and from dinners and the comedy shows that we plan on going to, I think these will be fine. I like to make sure I pack my shoes in a garment bag. They are the probably dirtiest things that go in your luggage, so you wanna make sure you're protecting your clothes and anything else in there. And I'm bringing my beat up white sneakers because I think they just look a little bit more cool and more lived in, especially this time of year when you don't wanna to be too precious with your sneakers anyway with like rain and snow and all that stuff. So next we're gonna get into toiletries and makeup. For this, it's really important to keep in mind the TSA volume limitations. So I think you can't bring any liquids under 100 mil. In this case, I will bring a small travel face cleanser, my SPF, and I love this moisturizer from La Roche-Posay because my skin gets really dry when flying. And this Cicaplast Balm is amazing. It's super hydrating. It's great for people who have eczema and you can even use it on babies for diaper rash. So if you find that your skin is super dry, you're gonna love this stuff. I'll bring one lip balm. And for me, a makeup palette is probably the easiest thing to bring because it's one and done. Everything is here. This is a palette from Hourglass that's super old, but it's so easy to travel with and it's got everything I need. I'll bring my mascara, my brow pencil, my brow gel. Concealer is where I go the most ham. And something I forgot to bring last time I traveled was a red lipstick. So for me, red lipstick is one of the ways that I like to really jazz up my outfit and feel a little bit more, you know, like cheeky deeky. So I'm gonna bring MAC Ruby Woo and this lip liner and we're good to go. I'll also pack my toothbrush, some floss, Q-tips, band-aids because we're walking around, who knows my curling iron and this little Olaplex hair oil so that my hair doesn't dry out. Anything liquid I'll put in a plastic bag so that it is separate from all my other things and really easy to grab at security. But there's a lot of cute options you can get that are more reusable, so I think I need to look into that. And then for miscellaneous things, jewelry, I'm actually just gonna wear on the plane so I don't even bother packing any jewelry. I'm gonna wear what I wear every day plus my rings. 
I'm gonna pack one purse that can double during the day and for the evening. When I checked the weather, it said it was gonna rain on a few days that we're gonna be there, so I'm gonna pack an umbrella. You can never go wrong packing an umbrella. Oh yeah, and don't forget to pack your PJs. One hack when it comes to packing your pajamas and really anything that sort of is meant to be worn together, fold them together instead of separately. That way they're one unit and it saves a lot of space. Now, as you can see, sometimes the packing process doesn't go according to plan. I wanted to pack this extra gray blazer and this really cool cutout blazer that I had pictured wearing on date nights and things like that while we were away, but it was just becoming way too heavy and taking up way too much space. So I swapped out the two blazers for a regular black blazer that I wear all the time. It'll still work and I still get to bring my special piece, which are those really cool Kate cowboy boots. Be a little flexible when it comes to your packing and try to leave some room in your suitcase because you never know what cool things you're gonna bring home. So now that the suitcase is all packed up, I'm going to pack my personal item and I decided to bring the Monos backpack with me because I just prefer to carry a backpack. I think it's a little bit easier and more ergonomic and I like to pack all my electronics and my more precious items in my personal bag. This bag has a lot of really handy, easy to use compartments. So I'm gonna pack my vlog camera and charger and an extra camera battery, my iPhone, my AirPods, my iPhone charger, my laptop because I will be editing on the plane or the airport, laptop case, my Samsung SSD drive. This thing is amazing. It makes editing so fast and so easy. An SD card reader, my mini tripod, and my phone tripod because I'll probably be making TikToks. No shame. Follow me there if you haven't. So that's everything I'll be packing for our mini getaway to New York City. New York, New York is that way, man. If you watched the whole video and got some value from it, leave me a plain emoji in the comments and let me know where you're traveling next. Thanks again to Monos for sponsoring this video and I'll definitely let you guys know how I got on with their luggage. Let me know if you want a New York City vlog. As always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm gods. It helps me so much more than you may think. And if you haven't already, please subscribe if you want to. Safe travels, bye.